What's going on, everybody? This is Rico69, bringing you guys my first footage of some Dead Trigger 2 gameplay and a little quick review for you guys out there who I wanted to know how what I thought about this beautiful game. Uh, okay, so for all you guys out there that was really hyped about this game with multiplayer, I'm going to cut that right there, guys. It does not have multiplayer. Like, does it not have real-time multiplayer, at least, where you can team up with your friends and walk around and killing zombies and bashing and, you know, and completing missions with your friends. It does not have that. Well, it does not have it yet, at least, guys. So, I don't know. I don't know why they told us that they will when it before it was released because it had everyone pumped for that for the multiplayer. That's what I had for a lot of you guys knew that I was pretty pumped on for the multiplayer feature that is not even there yet. But um, I, I don't. I didn't read any official uh any any official statement about that it will come in a future update. But they did tell us that, so that's the only thing I can assume that it will come in a future update for you guys out there. Um. You guys can tell by the graphics right there. The graphics isn't that great, but I'm not complaining at all, actually. I mean, I turned the graphics up from low to high, but then again, this is my, my latest Nexus 7, which is not my old one. I haven't even, like, played a mission on my old one yet, so I don't know how it looks on a Tegra 2. Well, a Tegra 3, what am I saying? This is not a Tegra 3, as you guys know, so don't expect any flash little reflections. I mean, but I'm not I'm not in the game for just the, 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 the over, the, like, you know, like, the great... The, oh, what's the word? I'm not in the. I'm not in for the game for the great graphics. I mean, as long as the graphics are like, oh, that's nice, like basic console. I'm not looking for any next gen graphics on this game because I know that they were like, unless it was if it was a, like Tegra Four, then yes, I was ex I would expect that because they they told us what to expect with the Tegra Four. They promised that. I can't any. I can't say too much how the Tegra Four looks right now because I do not have a Tegra Four or I have not even ran my Tegra Three with this right now but i will be doing it guys and i will be letting you guys know how it looks okay so one thing you guys know i told you guys how it's not multiplayer but you would think it is when you first log in oh you guys can tell i i, I really like this feature the melee feature it's freaking amazing it, sh it, it shows you how to conserve bullets and i just like bashing heads with this wrench it's just amazing okay so um, when you first like launch the game, you gotta make an account or sign in if you have another account. I don't know if it if it runs with your Shadow Gun account, so I can't promise that. But I did make a new account, so I'm thinking, okay, a new account. So when multiplayer comp, well, so for multiplayer, before I knew multiplayer wasn't on there, so I signed in and all that stuff. I played a few missions, but then eventually I realized that I cannot play offline, and that really kind of upset me because. I know they probably want to like make sure you save everything on the cloud, but they should have like the first one where you can at least play offline. Cause I really enjoyed the offline like like mainly anytime I play was what was like if I'm offline like I'm on a train or something coming home, which would be great because also my internet has been tweaking lately, like it's been going really really slow. So some things won't even load. Like don't know like the little, between the little missions and stuff when you first booting up when you like meeting all the people they're building your stuff. It takes forever because, well, no, it doesn't take forever. It takes forever to start going. It's kind of confusing. Sometimes you have to leave the app and come back for them to start, like, making your thing. Like, this guy right here I'm saving, he's actually the engineer. We have a gunsman who makes the gun. The engineer, I believe he makes the explosive and, like, the little, little extra stuff. Right now, I have to protect him. And that, these features are great. I love these features right now, guys, that they give us. Like, and also that guy, that guy talks to us, which is great. You got the little voice, little audio. That's amazing to me. You have the wrench was amazing. You get the, like, you automatically get two gun slots, which on the other one, you only hit one until you like, and the prices were like ridiculous to buy another gun slot, which I, I, I really like that. And I love the pistol guys. You guys can tell just, mwah, 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 mwah. with the pistol, just bang, bang, bang. No chief Keith guys, <laughs> but man, this game is great overall. I just, the only thing I really dislike is the fact that you cannot play offline. Because imagine when I, I'm on the train ride home and I want to pull out some dead trick and bang some zombies in the face. Uh, but then again, guys, I am pretty early in the game, so you, I am I'm not even like set up. So I'll I'll try to wait until like I'm farther in the game. Look at that, aim down sight, put them down until I get closer. You know, I love it. I don't know. I don't know what like too much I can say, but. I don't know, don't expect, don't like, guys, don't expect any multiplayer gameplay until the multiplayer feature comes out, and when it does come out, guys, I will be here to air that, and I will be trying to give you guys, um, 
I'm not too sure how the story is going to go from now, but it is a continuation from the uh, from Dead Trigger 1. But don't worry, you don't have to be, you don't have to play Dead Trigger 1 to play this one. It's just the same main character, but the, the guy that, like the mentor guy that you was with in Dead Trigger 1, is not, I haven't seen him yet in Dead Trigger 2, so I don't even know if they're going to talk about that or they'll probably just like leave that as a as a gap. But this is still the same main character that you played with last time. And one thing I want to say is about the guns. Did you guys know, like, if you guys play the game, the guns are supposed to be, you know, fully customized. Like, created by this one guy. They could at least make the guns look like it like it was made, like, it created and stuff. It just looks too stock to me. And I kind of don't like that that much. Kinds of, you guys know, I don't, I don't like that gun that much because it doesn't really look like you, like, someone made it. It looks like you bought it from the store. It just looks too stock to me. I want some, like, some little carvings on it. Some sex, it's like, make it sexy to me. All right, guys, I just finished this mission, actually. And, uh, this video is pretty close to ending, but it goes about like like six minutes and twenty seconds. So yeah. <laughs> uh so guys, I guess I'll just try to end this video right here. I want to ask you guys to click that like button if you enjoyed my video. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and want to see more Dead Trigger gameplay or some other gameplay that you guys can check out on my channel. Uh comment if you want to say something and like put that in the comment section below. And guys, this is Rico69. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'm signing off. Have a nice day.